I thought you were exaggerating for effect. If anything, you downplayed her. Yeah, here, I gotta go. What? Don't you dare leave me alone with her. It's the hardware store. What about the hardware store? I have jury duty. Look, I get it. You don't want to be around your mom, but you know what? She's your mom, not mine, so get your ass in there. Oh, I am still processing all of this, okay? And not surprisingly, my mom is not going to be a lot of comfort. So I'm going to drive by our old house and try to drudge up some good memories. Here, just get a few glasses in her. She's actually fun if she's been drinking. Really? No, stop making me lie. <laughs> are you sure you're going to be okay if I leave early? Becky and I are having a movie night. Oh, wow. Well, look at you having specially named nights with Becky at the house. What's all that about, huh? We're hanging out with you, baby. Last night, we had a nice time watching TV. Nice time, gotcha. So, uh, what'd you do last night? We made some pizza rolls. Okay, okay, pizza rolls, yeah. Did you both reach for one at the same time because you were just both so hungry? Why are you making everything dirty? Because you kids belong together and you're finally taking this to the next level. I think so, too. Well, then you need to make a move, man. Well, what kind of moves are you talking about? Well, next time you watch something scary. So then maybe she'll take your hand or cuddle up next to you. Ah. ah. There's this documentary out about a daughter who brutally murders her mother. Uh, well, no, maybe not that one. That's more of a feel-good thing. <laughs> And, you know, when Ben was three, he used to go everywhere in his little Batman mask. But that was all, because he hated to wear clothes. It didn't matter where. He'd strip down in banks, supermarkets, church. <laughs> he always looked like a tiny, naked Mexican wrestler. <laughs> well, he hasn't outgrown that. The second we're alone in the house, the clothes come off, and it's, I'm Batman. <laughs> You know, you are so easy to talk to. I understand why Ben's never been happier. Oh, same here. Well, that's how it should be. I always wish Ben's dad had been a little more fun. Oh, here's something that I kept from... No, I can't talk about that. <laughs> oh. Well, you've known me for several hours. You can tell me anything. <laughs> okay. I once sent sexy emails to my first boyfriend through the classmates' website. Oh. Well, we've all got stuff. One time I had a few drinks and I sent a sexy email to Barack Obama. <laughs> Next thing I know, there's two guys in black suits with earpieces at my door. <laughs> well, I went to the mall and tried on Spanx and then breezed past the security guard <laughs> looking three pounds lighter. <laughs> oh, and Ben's dad isn't his real father. What? <laughs> I had a fling. Ben doesn't know about it. And Nate was humiliated, so I promised not to tell. Oh, well, there's no point in going on. I think you won. <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe you were starting to look at me in a different way. Oh, no. I'm happy that we're sharing our crazy crap that we're going through, but you're dating. I thought you moved on. This isn't a date. Why not? We have such a good time together. And you're not meeting anybody great, and I'm not meeting anybody great. We're married. We have a baby together. We should be dating. I like hanging out with you as a friend. Maybe I'm selfish. I'm sorry if I'm sending the wrong signals. I don't want to be a friend. OK, then think of me as, as a sister. A sister that you had a baby with. I think I should go. No, you don't have to go. Yeah, I do. And just so you know, once I go back to dating, I'm going to be snapped up quick. Married, undocumented, shorter to cooks, do not grow on trees. <laughs> Yeah, you think I'm the only desperate middle-aged alcoholic out there that would find you attractive? I mean, this is Lanford. You can't swing a handle of vodka without hitting one of us. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I didn't hear you come in. Uh, your mom's probably on her way back from her walk. I think if we're quiet, we can hear the cloven hooves on the sidewalk. <laughs> She's not taking a walk. She's heading back to Florida. What? Yeah, but true to her half-assed parenting style, she left a note saying that she told you some very important and upsetting news and that since the cat's out of the bag, she had to leave. So, go. <laughs> okay. Here it is. You were born in prison. You're a prison baby. What? My mom was in prison? Why? She jacked a car. She's a carjacker. Mom. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have left. I want you to know I feel terrible. Oh, boy. Look, it was a long time ago you were desperate and needed money, probably. No, I did not charge him a cent, and I was not desperate. I was young, I was beautiful, and he had a couple of eight balls and the first Boston album. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, that's when I got pregnant. I should have told you Nate wasn't your real father a long time ago. Oh, my God. Nate's not his father? This is terrible news after learning that your mom's a cokehead and you were born in prison. This is too much for one day. You know what? You should leave or I should leave because one of us is going to pass out. So, wait, Dad wasn't my father? Didn't Darlene tell you? I got pregnant by another man and Nate agreed to raise you as his own. So Nate knew? So... Who is my real father? He died a long time ago. Look, I, I came back because I knew you would have a lot of questions that needed answering if you were going to move on from this. I do. What was my real dad's name? Richard something. Oh. <laughs> Where was he from? What did he like? Uh, what did he do for a living? Look, all I know is he lived someplace cold because he had a heavy jacket. <laughs> So all you know about my real dad is that he had a heavy jacket? It was one night. What's important is that you understand that Nate found out I cheated on him, and he was mad at me, but he took it out on you. I'm sorry. You, you have any idea how much this screwed me up? You let me go my whole life thinking that my dad hated me, that I was some kind of huge disappointment to him. Well, now, it was not your whole life. You're not dead yet. If your life continues exactly as it is from this point on, then we will all know it was not my fault. Okay, I've got to go. My cab is here. Love you, Mom. Thank you. We don't say it enough. Well, at least now I kind of understand why. Dad treated me like crap. Every time he looked at me, he saw some jackass my mom banged and hated me for it. Man, you were only a kid. He should have never taken it out on you. I mean, I treat Darlene like she's my own. 